we need to find the torsion of this curve, and we want to do it, let's use this formula that we got for tau that involves the determinant of the velocity, acceleration, and jerk all over um, the norm squared of v cross a. So let's see, if that's our position, then we can calculate um, v. Let's see, v, the derivative of the cosine is the shine, the derivative of the shine is the cosine. So we get um, shine t minus cosh t and 1. And then for the acceleration, we get um, the derivative of the shine is the cosine. And the derivative of the cosine is the shine, so we get minus shine here and 0. So we can calculate, let's do one more, let's calculate the, the derivative of that while we're at it here. So we get, again, shine t, and we get a cosh t, oh, a minus cosh t, and a 0 one more time. Okay, so now um, we need to calculate v cross a, and we also need to calculate this determinant. So the first row is the first derivatives of the components with respect to t, which is really the velocity. So we have shine t minus cosh t and 1. And then the second row is the acceleration minus shine t and 0. And then the third row is the jerk, so shine t minus cosh t. Okay, and this determinant, we can just expand along around this row, because all these entries are 0. So we just have 1, which is in a plus position, times this determinant. So we have 1 times negative quotient squared t plus shine squared t. Now there's an identity that says quotient squared minus shine squared is 1. So quotient minus quotient squared plus shine squared would be negative 1. So that's the top number for the torsion. Now we need to find um, v cross a and then find its length. So let's do v cross a here. v cross a, you could just put it in determinant form to get the formula. Um, we're going to have shine and minus cosh and 1 and the cosine and the minus shine and 0. And that's it. Okay, so now what's my i component? Well, 0 minus minus shine. So that's equal to the shine. And my j component would be cosh minus 0. So that's equal to the cosh. And my k component is, <coughs> is going to be um, minus shine squared um, minus cosine squared. So we get minus shine squared, minus minus quotient squared. Oh, so that's going to be um, quotient squared t minus shine squared. And quotient minus shine is 1. OK, so we have now that, oh, that's just v cross a. We want the length of v cross a, so we need to find the length of that vector, which would be the square root of. Um, shine squared plus quotient squared plus 1 squared. OK. And let's see, is there anything we could do, do to simplify that? Not particularly, although that we do know that, that the quotient squared is the shine squared plus 1, so we could write it in terms of the shine squared. Or we know that the shine squared is the quotient squared um, minus 1. Oh, that might be a good way to do this. So we have, remember, since cosine squared minus shine squared is 1, shine squared is quotient squared minus 1. So we have quotient squared minus 1 plus quotient squared plus 1. And so we get the square root of 2 quotient squared t. Now the cosines. Um, yeah, so let's see. The cosine is always, this is the absolute value of the cosine, but the cosine is always positive. So that's the length of v cross a. So put that all together, and we find that the torsion is negative 1 over 2 times.
the cosine of t for this curve.